Odobenus rosmaris. What exactly is Odobenus rosmaris? It's actually quite simple. Odobenus rosmaris is the scientific term for a walrus. Now, the full scientific classification for a walrus would be Animalia, Chordata, Mammalia, Eutheria, Carnivora, Caniformia, Pinnipedia, Odobinidae, Odobenus rosmaris, but there is no reason that you would ever need to know that. Now, Odobenus rosmaris is a Latin phrase which translates to tooth-walking seahorse. The walrus is a pinniped along with seals and sea lions and is the last remaining species of the Odobinidae family. The walrus resides in the Arctic Circle at the North Pole, dividing it into two different kinds of walrus based on its location. Atlantic Atlantic walruses are found in coastal areas of northeastern Canada and Greenland, while Pacific walruses are found in the Bering, Chukchi, and Laptiv seas. Also, they are very, very, very big. Male walruses weigh nearly two tons, and some have even grown to be over 12 feet long. To get an idea of how big that is, here's my car. This car is about 13 feet long, okay? Now let's just get rid of the car and put a walrus there. That's how big a walrus is. That's pretty big. big. Walruses also have vibrissae, or whiskers, on their snouts. Walruses use these vibrissae as food detectors to find clams and shellfish on the ocean floor. And, of course, the defining characteristic of walruses is their tusks. Their tusks. Tusks are found on both male and female walruses, though male tusks are much longer than female tusks and are used to show dominance. In both genders' cases, the tusks are used for hauling out on ice. Here's what hauling on ice means, essentially. This is gonna be an imaginary line. I am a walrus. I am in the ocean right now. This over here is going to be the ice flow I was on. I need to get a two-ton body out of the water. Now, every walrus has five very small claws on their flippers, which can help them a little bit, but that's not gonna cut it. We're gonna say I have two tusks, which are these two knives. I'm going to haul into the ice flow with my tusks, stick my tusks into the ice flow, and then use this to pull myself out of the water and back onto the ice. What some walruses do also, since walruses enjoy being in the water, they will stick their tusks into the ice and then fall asleep. And they are anchored into the ice by their tusks. They don't go anywhere. They just float there asleep with their teeth shoved in the ice. And then they wake up, they get back on ice, and then they go on with their lives. So yeah, that's how hauling on ice works. The ground is wet, and now my shirt is wet. I hate this. Another thing you may not have realized about the walrus is that they're actually covered in a thin layer of hair. Very short, very tiny hairs, less than half an inch long, cover the entire body. I have a thin layer of hair on my hand, sort of. See the hair? See? Except it's significantly thicker on walruses and on their whole body. Now, in terms of behavior, walruses are very similar to humans. They are social animals who enjoy physical contact and stay in groups. A group of walruses is usually described as a herd of walruses, although one can also call it a pod of walruses or an ugly of walruses. No, that is not a joke. A group of walruses is sometimes called an ugly of walruses. Oh, look, there goes an ugly of walruses. <laughs> no, but we're here to learn. Walruses also travel in groups to protect one another from predators such as polar bears and people. And boy, do they need protection from people because people have learned how to use the bejeebus out of walruses. The native Eskimos, have, I'm tired of standing, I'm gonna sit down. The native Eskimos have used the skin of walruses to cover their boats. The oil in the skin can be used for lamps. The tusks and bones can be carved into durable weapons like lances and spears. This is where it's gonna get a little icky, so just prepare your stomachs. Walrus intestines have been used as waterproof clothing and window covers, and also flotation devices. You know, instead of throwing out a buoy, why don't you just throw out a small intestine? Walruses on land can actually move as fast as humans can run, which on average is 11 miles an hour. In the water, walruses can swim twice that speed because they have flipper arms. They can hold their breath underwater for up to 30 minutes and can dive over 300 feet to get to the ocean floor to feed on the clams down there. Now here comes the kicker, and this is why I researched this project in the first place. And it's kind of important, so I'm gonna stand up again. Walruses are an endangered species. Remember, this is the last remaining species in an entire family. In the science world, that's kind of a big deal. Plus, as I'm sure you've gathered from all this information, Walruses are kind of wonderful. They're like the big, cuddly Winston Churchills of the ice. Fortunately, walruses have become much less in danger than they were a few years ago. But they aren't in the clear yet. There's still not enough walruses for them to be considered a stable species. Now, sadly, there isn't much you personally can do, except if you ever see a walrus, please don't murder it. Walruses are part of what make creation so beautiful, and they need to be preserved and kept safe. Do all of those things. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Goodbye.